when realistically do you envisage tourists being able to safely return to Ireland? It's very hard to put an actual date on it right now, but I think vaccine gives us the real hope that we have that we can see a return to travel. As you said, last year was a disaster. We saw a decline of about 80% in international travel. We saw 160,000 jobs lost in the sector. Uh, but I think there is hope on the horizon, and the research that we've conducted internationally over the last number of months is telling us that our customers are saying they want to visit destinations closer to home. They want to get back to visit their friends and relatives. They're really keen to travel, and Ireland is well positioned. And it's important for Tourism Ireland that we're out in the marketplace about one quarter in advance. And what we're really looking at probably is international travel res resuming in some shape or form in the latter part of quarter two. So we're setting our sights really on a campaign to launch in St. Patrick today. It's probably hard to imagine that in the current third wave, but we have to keep our finger on the pulse and be ready to move very early because there will be a really significant push uh, on international travel when the time comes. A, a campaign on St. Patrick's Day, but presumably not inviting people to come here for St. Patrick's Day. No, I mean, I think you're looking at really, you know, at this stage now, quarter three, quarter four, you're looking at when the time is right. We have to know that communities are going to be ready to welcome international tourists with the great Irish welcome that they've always done so in the past. We're not there today, but I think being positioned and being ready for it is really, really important. And that's why we have a lot of opportunities uh, that are coming our way in the next three to six months that will be exploiting to make sure that we're well positioned when recovery does come. How much recovery are you realistically expecting this year? Uh, I think a key determinant of that will be connectivity. Uh, we depend on 85% of people coming here by air. Uh, that's an area that's been decimated last year uh, and it's something that we don't do a clear line of sight on. We're very fortunate that we have got two carriers like Aer Lingus and Ryanair that put about 80% of all capacity into Ireland and I've no doubt that we'll see a very strong return in early course of main airports like London, Paris, New York, Boston, Chicago. But the real success of Irish tourism between 2015 and 2019 was based on new destinations that came in like San Francisco LA, Dallas, Stuttgart and other cities around Europe too. So no line of sight on numbers. I mean, okay. The best case scenario really is that you can see 50% of 2019 numbers but too early to call that Gavin. Will the selling exercise have to be different? In other words will you have to try and focus more on what people can do outdoors rather than indoors? Yeah, there's no question that our customers are telling that uh, through, through all the surveys that we're doing. A lot more feature on outdoors, rural, but of course with that comes the challenge of connectivity and our concern about rural airports. So if you look at the likes of Shannon this year, for example, Aer Lingus, sorry, I should say Delta Airlines and United have already said that they won't be coming back in this summer. And this poses real challenges for people who want to come to Ireland but can't get here and be one of the most significant challenges that we have when the time is right to travel again. Niall Gibbons, thank you very much for speaking to us.